EWN goes to Nkandla to speak to Zuma about stuff. If I had told the people that thing would not have worked, I went underground, applied to my tactics, applied to my underground training in order to get where I am. Zizi Godwa reduces more of his workload. Antonio Guterres hits out at big companies. Hello, I'm Sviso Zulu. This is Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News went to Nkanda in KwaZulu Natal to well, speak with former President Jacob Zuma after his new MK party became a hit at the elections, emerging as the third biggest party in the country. The MK party was officially announced to the public in December last year and has evidently made strides in just about five months. In this wide-ranging interview, Zuma speaks about the battle for the MK party leadership, his party's refusal to go into coalition with the ANC if Ramaphosa is still president, and, well, other things. What has he done so bad in your eyes that you can't let up, that you can't let go, that it is consistent, that what is wrong with the ANC has to be this man at the helm at the moment? He misled the ANC. He has never led the ANC properly. I don't want to go further than that. <clears throat> and that's why I call it the Ramaphosa ANC. <clears throat> I don't want to deal with details of Ramaphosa. That's not my intention. It's very hard when you say... Oh, at least for now. You can watch the rest of that interview on ewn.co.za. Zizi Godwa has stepped aside as a member of both the ANC National Executive Committee and the National Working Committee. He wrote a letter addressed to the party's Secretary General, Figilem Balula. Godwa says he is doing this to comply with the party step-aside rule, which indicates that members charged with serious crimes should relinquish their positions in government and within the party. He also resigned from his sports, arts and culture ministerial position. Godwa appeared in the Palm Ridge Specialized Commercial Crimes Court yesterday, facing corruption charges. Balula says the party welcomes Godwa's decision. Zizi has uh, stepped aside uh, whilst he addressed the issues uh, that he's actually facing. And uh, he has done that voluntarily, informed by the policy of the ANC. He's not forced to do it. And uh, to that, uh, we are very much uh, grateful to him. The mother of the man whose body was allegedly used as a decoy in the Tabo Besta prison break has dismissed the convict's emotional outcry as nonsense. Katja Hobereng's body was allegedly burnt in Besta's cell when he fled from the Mangawung prison over two years ago. Besta, along with his co-accomplice Nandi Pamagudumana and seven others, including her father, are being tried for the escape in the Bloemfontein High Court. Besta had this rant in court. I am not the worst inmate in this country. I don't have the highest counts. I have three counts. But I am the most popular inmate in this country for no reason, because of the political carnage and because of the political issues that I have in my personal capacity. But the mother of Katlejo says it's all an act. Now when we come to court, we must watch him and Nandi having affectionate. Everything he is saying is nonsense because he misses the soft treatments that he was getting while he was at the Mangawung prison. Citrus Dal has again been hit hard by extreme weather. It's been about a year since the Western Cape Town was completely cut off after heavy rains caused the main roads to collapse. Now, around 200 residents had to be evacuated and housed at a community centre. The Cedarburg municipality says heavy rains have caused the Oliphants River to overflow, resulting in the flooding of several access roads. And UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres says there should be a windfall tax on profits of fossil fuel companies to help pay for the fight against global warming. A report by the World Meteorological Organization says the planet experienced its warmest May on record, which means the globe has now reached a full year of record-breaking temperatures. In a speech for World Environment Day, the UN chief called the companies the godfathers of climate chaos. This marks 12 straight months of the hottest months ever. For the past year, every turn of the calendar has turned up the heat. Our planet is trying to tell us something, but we don't seem to be listening. And that's it from us today. Thank you for watching. You can get more on the EWN app and the Prime Meter Plus app. 
Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.